And um, first off, I want to uh, say that I thought the day was really going to be hard um, because this is like the first Father's Day that I'm celebrating without my dad being here. And it was crazy because, um, like, last night as I got in the house, I went out, then I got in the house, and, and it was crazy because I was so tired, but I couldn't go to sleep. And, you know, because I'm a believer, I feel like my dad is in heaven. And I know that when you're in heaven, you know, everything is focused on praising God out there. Like, you know, singing. They say, you know, they say even the grass praises God in heaven. Amen. So it's crazy. I got home last night, you know, and I was like, I'm just glad to be home. And I'm glad that I get to go to church and not have to go to work. That's what I look forward to on my Sundays. But at the same time, I didn't talk to my wife. We was laying there together. I didn't talk to her, but I was, I had my dad on my mind so much last night. More than, you know, more than I have been lately. And I was just sitting there and I was thinking about him so much I couldn't even go to sleep. So I just started singing songs and then she started singing with me. And it's crazy because I ended up singing myself to sleep. And I was, you know, I thought about it this morning. I don't even remember where I stopped or what song I was singing when I fell asleep. And like this morning, God told me like, you were singing but your father was really the one singing to help you go to sleep because he knew that, you know, I wasn't asleep because I was thinking about him. So I just still thank God, you know, for, for even me being the man that I am, him thinking enough to remind me that even though my dad is not here in the physical, he's still here in the spiritual. All right, so um, when she asked me to say something today, first of all, I want to thank all the guys. Also, I got, it's, it's funny, I can say something about each and every man in here, and even the ones that aren't, but, be, but since they ain't here, I'm going to just say a couple things about the guys that's here. I'm going to start off with, uh, I'll start off with Roy. All right, um, slide over a little bit, tell me up. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start off with Roy. Um, everybody that knows me, that I let, that I allow to get close enough to me, they know that the type of man that I am now is not the type of man that I've always been. Amen. You know, I still struggle with certain things, but... Thank you, Lord. I was going to say something. I, I can't even say anything. But I, I, I'm, I'm not going to say that I'm hood. But I'm a street guy. I'm, I'm from the streets. You know, I done dibbled and dabbled in a little bit of everything. And, you know, it, you know, when you get to meet people, sometimes you relate to them on different levels. Mm -hmm. You know? And, like, every, they don't, they probably don't know it, but they are able to help you at a certain, a certain point where certain people can. You know, I feel like each person that's in your life is in your life because they have a certain purpose, right. just their purpose. Right. So like Roy, when it comes to Roy, like we can we can relate because I'm familiar with, you know, the lifestyle that he lives. Mm -hmm. He's kind of familiar with the life that I live. And at the same time, I look and I see Roy, I see Roy coming. Mm -hmm. I see him coming, you know, and I always try to give him a character word because I remember how it was when people be like, hey, you go to church? You still be out here hustling, or you go to church and you still be hitting the clubs and stuff like that. And you go to church and you still be drinking a beer. I'm just, I just want to tell you, besides Happy Fall Day, I just want to let you know to remember one thing that God uses everybody, yeah. but He uses people with issues Come on in. in a much special if it's a word, special or our way. Yeah. You know, you look at all the books of the Bible and the people that wrote the books of the Bible. You look at all of them. Each person that wrote a book of the Bible had an issue that today will be looked at as a carnal man, yeah. somebody that, they, that people feel like they should be in jail. Each person that wrote 
these words in the Bible that we read, they had their own issues. Amen. So when you get to a point where you feel like you might have let people down or things are getting hard, mm -hmm. just look at yourself and say, I'm a my good company. Uh -huh. Because God uses the people who have issues. Not only that, I saw something the other day on Facebook and it said something like, um, it said God, pretty much it was just saying like, God, he chooses, it was said God chooses, pretty much it was just saying God chooses people who feel that they aren't worthy to do certain things. And the people who who feel like they are worthy mm -hmm. are the people that he uses somewhat in a different way. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly if I explained it right. But I just want you to be encouraged, man. And just, just know, like, I'm here. Mm -hmm. Same way I'm here for anybody else I'm here. You know, you can highlight me anytime. And we can hook up and do without. Amen. Um, next, I'm going to say something to Chucky. Because, you know, that's that's my brother from another mother. <laughs> you know, man, Chucky, we, we can hang and do any time, anything. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to go fishing tomorrow morning. Anybody want to roll, let me know. Hey. Come on, girl. Nine women. Um, <laughs> we going fishing tomorrow morning. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, Chucky, Chucky, he don't know it, but Chucky is real inspiring. It's been times with my wife. My wife that got on my last nerve. And I ain't gonna, I'll be like, you know what? I'm going out somewhere because I need for some other women to tell me I'm handsome and try to get with me. Not that I'm gonna do something, but sometimes it's, you know, other, hearing it from other people, you, you, you sometimes soak it down. You know? But, you know, I can honestly say, like, Chucky is like, Chucky gets straight churchy on you, like. <laughs> You like it's almost like the, the devil trying to crawl up your back and Chucky gets straight church like man God ain't going man God got y'all y'all gonna be all right then they just slide in like I'm just waiting for my wife I'm tired of it. but yeah happy Father's Day to you and, and, and for real even though you don't have no kids if you encourage a kid I learned that working in the school system if you encourage a kid then you are probably doing more than a whole lot of men that's in their life that they see every day. Because they're looking at them and they're getting all the wrong things. All right, the next person. Antonio. Yes. Yes. It's crazy because when I, it's crazy that Antonio came to the church through my wife, Jatan. But it's crazy because I remember I used to sell and this is during my time where I stopped going to churches. I was selling tennis on the corner of Duke, Duke Lynn mm -hmm. and Gwen's Falls. Right. Mm -hmm. And I used to watch this dude every Sunday walk past the little tent we had. And it's like no matter how high it was, he had a suit on on his way to church. And then walking back, I noticed it every, like every Sunday. Not only that, but I remember Antonio from when I used to walk, work at Walbrook. You know, and it's crazy, like, but we don't think about it, but sometimes, you know, God will allow you, even if you don't meet somebody, God will allow you to cross paths with people. So, like I said, I remember seeing him from Walbrook when I was working there. I saw him walking back and forth past the shoe stand when I was doing that. And, and I knew I needed to be in church on them Sundays. And I was like, well, I need to make this money and I need to do this and do that, do this and do that. But anyway, it's crazy because I'm hearing the time talk about this dude, Antonio, this, Antonio, that. And then when I first met him, I was like, I'll be God, dang, dang, I said, dang. I know this guy. This is the same dude. And, and ever since then, he has been a big, big inspiration. Oh, yes, yes. Not only that, but but... I ain't gonna sit here and act like things don't cross my mind and I should be. He he is also a vessel that God uses yes. to sometimes remind you to stay in line. Yes, yes, yes. And like Timmy said, you can always depend on a text in the morning from Antonio yes. called Breakfast for the Mind. Yes. 
And honestly, like those those things get me through. Like um, lately, I've been going around the track. Well, I haven't been the last couple of days, but I was going around the track, and I always look forward to that. Like one day, he was late with it, uh-huh. and I was like, "What in the world?" But then after I thought, I, it came, it popped up on my phone. So I want you to know that that's encouraging, man. And even though people might not say it, it's doing something for them. Yes. The other thing. You know, I, I think about everybody in the church. I, I got it from my father. I care about everybody I con- come in contact with. So even when we're not at church, I'm thinking about everybody. Right. You know, this morning, another thing that was on my mind was Antonio. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the situation that we all somewhat know about. And, you know, I, I just want to tell you, be encouraged. Yes. Yes. We here. You know we here. Yes. Yes. Like, I don't even let as many Negroes in my house. Like, and Antonio, you know, he can come to my house. And act like he home. You know, I trust him being there even when I'm not there. Even if it's just him and my wife. I trust him being there because I know it's hard. Yeah, yeah. So, Antonio, be encouraged. Be strong because you've not only been strong for you, but you've been strong for the rest of us. Yeah, yeah. Now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Now, now for my big cuz. I'm not trying to tell his business, but my cuz been gone from us for a long time. Amen. You know, like almost 22 years. And it's crazy because I well, I ain't even gonna go into everything because I, I was about to start talking about before he left and everything else. We'd be here until next week. But I thank God because we've been hanging. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's almost like he was gone, but we started right off where we left from. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All those years. And I'm thankful for that. But the, 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 the one thing I haven't said to him that I want to say is, you know, I know God worked in crazy, wild, mysterious ways. Yeah. And I remember, like, you know, how my cousin, before he went away, he he was getting a couple hours. He's getting some money. You know, and I wanted... Like when them, them Nikes used to be out with the straps around, I never forget when he took me up in that closet and like the boxes was piled as tall as I was. I was like, and, and he ain't wearing my size when I was a little man. But anyway, I thank God. I mean, I'm not thanking God that he had to go away, but I thank God that you went away. I thank God that you kept your mind. Because yeah, yeah. I look at so many people working at the hospital and it's like people gone for two, three years and they come back and they ain't right at all. So I thank God that he kept his mind. I thank God that he also came out and he wants some get the family together. Yes. I'm a work, I'm getting my kids life. I mean that's it's like beautiful. It's, it's, yeah, it's a beautiful thing and, and you know I salute him for that because yes. I see the other side. Yes. I see the side of the dude that, that come home and, and the truth be told, I mean, y'all know I'm gonna keep it real. The truth be told, I mean, he 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 he's working, but he ain't, you know, ain't nobody getting the money that they want to get. But the truth be told, when you inside of there, yeah. after you've been there long enough, you start to live and not need for anything. Mm. And it's a lot of guys. I know a couple that have been locked up for only five years and come home and like, man, after the first couple of days, they're like, this crazy. They're like, I ain't never had the need for nothing. I wasn't broke. You know what I mean? So they did something to get locked back up and went back to jail. But I thank God for keeping my cousin's mind. And I thank God for making him the strong, folly man that he is that still runs through our blood. And we some strong men. Even though some of the women might have a problem with it sometimes. We some strong men. No, sir. And... (laughs) <laughs> not only that, but no, I'm just I'm just thankful that he's here. I'm thankful that like you know, like I said, it's like he came straight home and just started off when he left. Like you know what I'm saying, you know, and like even like when I look at him, now I look like my dad, but like his mannerisms yeah. remind me of my dad, yeah. and so I'm, I'm thankful for him and I. I want to say happy Father's Day to him. And I'm glad to see my little cousin. Hold on, y'all gotta let me say that. I'm glad to see my little cousin because it's crazy. 